Okay, what we're doing today is hiving a wild swarm that's in a dresser that someone gave us. We're going to put it into this top bar hive. And the purpose of this is to show you how that's done. Whether you're putting it in a top bar hive or whether you're putting it in a Langstroth hive, it's pretty much the same thing. And what you'd need is something to tie the combs onto the top bars with either fishing line or rubber bands or tape or anything that you can use that would secure it while the bees hold it, hold it in place while the bees secure it to the bars, which would take a few days. First thing we're going to do is smoke the bees. Okay, so we've opened the dresser up and you can see the combs here. And most of the bees are on the back wall because we've smoked them back. So the queen is probably going to be back there amongst those workers. We're going to try to uh, find her as we work with this and uh, protect her so she doesn't get hurt. Taken off, has nothing in it. So I'm going to set that aside. The second comb I can see has brood on it, so we're going to be careful and protect that. We're going to try to get all the bees off of it. But this is the part we want to save. We're going to tie that on. Now this colony has some chalk brood disease, probably because it's stressed. So what I'm going to do is get the bees off that, lay it down, and we get a top. So we're going to attach this here. And the way to do that. You have to get a solid attachment. So this this part that has pollen in it, we're going to remove that. And we're going to see if we can get a rubber band to fit on it. Rubber band might be too tight. It might squash the whole thing. Okay. So what else could you thing. use besides rubber bands? You could use fishing line. This is okay. Some of this is, da is going to be damaged. Actually, I'm going to remove this. A little bit more. Now, this carnage that I'm creating I'm killing some brood. Uh, they will cannibalize that and clean it up. It's important to have as no pollen where the contact points are because the pollen gets in the way of the attachment. So all of the brood, some of this brood is going to be killed, like this here, will, will die. But this brood in the middle here is fine. And so if we set that into this hive. So now I'm just going to set them in here, like this. The bees will attach it, will come back, take the rubber bands off, or the bees will chew them off. I'll get the next comb. Great that the bees have moved off of these combs. They're in the back. 
so we don't have a lot of bees in the way of this operation. Now we're just going to do the second comb the same way. Kind of brush the bees off gently. And again, I'm going to remove the pollen because it gets in the way. And make a nice straight line. I don't need that top bar because it's broken. It just so happens that this comb is just the right size for these rubber bands to work. This is never a very graceful operation. And you might ask, why aren't the bees stinging us? It's because we've smoked them so much, they are completely disoriented as to our presence. Okay, there's another one. After we're all done with this transferring, we'll get the bees into the new hive. for the queen here. No queen. Okay, so uh, I brushed the bees off the brush. We're just doing the same thing over and over again until we get all the combs attached. Now, if we were going to put them in a regular hive, we'd tie them into the frame, same way, the Lundstroth frame. And then in a few days, the bees will glue it all in. So what I've done is I've taken the dresser away and put the hive right where the dresser was. So now the bees are returning to the exact same spot and instead of the dresser they're finding the hive. <laughs>